Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. George and I are here in our packing room this morning. Um, we're, say hi. <laughs> we're finishing bottling up some honey this morning. So I wanted to show you guys um, just what that looks like. As you can see, we have been busy restocking our products. We have the coffee fully restocked. Um, we have some whole bean. We have ground coffee in two different sizes, the 453 gram and the 250 gram. Um, but right now we're finishing up the honey, so wanted to show you guys. So the honey's been filtering for about a week now, just because you have to let it sit in the sieve to get it all out of the honeycomb. You can see we still have, like this honeycomb still needs to be sieved some more. You can still see there's honey in there. So it's a process to get all the honey out, but it's been sieving and this is the bucket. How many kgs does that hold? The, buck, the whole bucket when it's full it holds 20, about 25 kilos, 25 to 20 kilos. Yeah, so about 25 kilos. And right now it's about yeah, you 10. Can, you can see the line, so there's just a little bit left. You just unscrew this little lever and then it comes out nicely so we can just fill the jar and then when it's full you clamp it off such nice honey we got a lot of honey this time around and like i said before we don't add anything to the honey whatsoever it's just pure straight from the hive all we do is let it sieve so that there's no like impurities in it and delicious delicious it's like a dark dark colored honey And the taste is so sweet, so nice, so delicious, so healthy. So yeah, this is what it looks like when you bottle it up. And I will start reaching out to those of you who are at the top of our waiting list. I'll start doing that today, actually. So within the next day or two, hopefully just by this evening, we can get a hold of everyone and get the orders arranged so that we can get you guys this honey. So for the one kg jar, it's 1400 Kenyan shillings. And then we have a few half kgs, but we're mostly just trying to sell majority of it in the one kg jars. Um, the half kg is 700. Okay, so this is the amount of honey that we got from that little portion that was left. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's 10 kgs and we're just gonna measure it out on here to make sure it's precise. So we account for the weight of the container. Let's set it on. It's not gonna be quite tonight. It's okay, yeah, we just make sure they're all reaching the weight. So we might only have like nine kgs to work with right here and then we can turn one of them into a half. So for this harvest, it was our biggest harvest that we've had so far. And um, thank you for being patient. It did take a bit of time because we had added supas onto our hives. So like I explained in my, I think my last video, 
Um, a supa is like a compartment that you set on top of the actual original hive. And then those are the compartments that you want to harvest. We You don't want to mess with the main hive. Um, if you can help it, you just want to let that be a strong colony. And then the part that you harvest the honey from is from the supas. So I'll show you guys what those look like in just a bit. How many supas did we harvest from this time around? Seven. Seven supas? Mm -hmm. yeah. Seven or nine. <laughs> Seven or nine. Well, we'll go count and get the actual number. But um, yeah, so we were able to get a nice big mm. harvest. And the amount of time it takes for the supas to fill just depends on several factors, just like how quickly the bees are able to fill the hives, which depends on like the amount of vegetation and flowering and all that. So we should be harvesting what every six, six five, six months, somewhere in there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also once I show you guys the supas, after that I'll show you, um, we had some new sticker labels printed. We're gonna label all the honey, um, we decided to go with like a white version of our logo just because the honey itself is dark. So the black colored logo um, wasn't coming out as nice. So we got some new logos, labels printed out. So I'll show you guys. And then I also need to put our sticker labels on these. These are the 250 gram bags of coffee, ground coffee. And then here we have some whole bean, the 453 gram. Um, we have not as many whole bean. This shelf is the whole bean right here. And then the rest is the ground. So we have plenty of coffee. If you guys wanna order some, we deliver countrywide. And also for those of you in the US and Canada, um, the way that you guys can order is through our website, which I'll put here. It's lamiriefarms.com and we actually have a website sale going on right now until Easter, so until March 31st of 20% off. So if you want to take advantage of that and it's free shipping uh, with the order of two bags or more. So that's for USA and Canada customers. So it's how you, you twist the lids on and then it locks. The hives that we have right now, currently we have 20 hives. Um, not, oh my gosh, there's a squirrel. The kids were telling me they saw squirrels in the tree. I just saw one. Sorry, I just got distracted by a squirrel. <laughs> um, we have squirrels now, and we also have frogs that are being attracted to our pond at night. So maybe I'll try to get some footage. Last night we saw like five frogs. So we're gonna just be attracting a whole lot of critters with that pond. But anyway, what I was saying is we have 20 hives. Not all of them have colonies in them. How many are full right now? We have Ooh, colonies. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have seven active hives right now, but then they also have the supas. So there's it's there's more production happening with those seven hives because of the extra supas. The next, the next harvest will be bigger than this one. Yeah, the harvests just continually are getting bigger as we go because of the supas, because new colonies are entering the hives all the time. And we are going to, the ones that are empty right now, we're going to make sure that we're um, maybe moving them to more prime spots. Maybe our hill property would be good. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. But um, the point is every harvest progressively is getting bigger and better. And we originally bought the hives back in 2018. So it's been a process and just it's been a work in progress. But um, 2018 we bought 20 hives from, is it Africa? what is it african beekeepers mm -hmm. african beekeepers in nairobi i believe 
So that's where we bought our hives. So exciting, we're restocked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten times three plus thirty kilos. That's one, that's two, thirty three, thirty four. And we have about one kilo for us. We saved one for us. Yeah. We also yeah. love honey. Thirty four kilos to share with you guys and sell to you guys. <laughs> um, I'll reach out to the list starting probably this afternoon. Um, he's somewhere out here. <laughs> yeah, we will. Hey, Jenny girl. How you doing, mama? Jenny needs a little break from all of her pups. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the supas and what they look like. The goat. Ntara and Tere. Liam is <laughs> Liam and Sissy are out here daily just gathering up their little berries. Huh, Liam? Mm -hmm. Ginny. Ginny, you don't eat this. Hey, Ginny girl. You don't eat berries, do you? No, she don't like berries, but she loves mangoes and avocados. Those so yummy. Are they sweet? Mm -hmm. Not yet. Not They're all of them. A little on the sour side. That one <laughs> was that one sour. This, this one might be sweet. Okay. This one be okay. Ginny, no, Ginny. leave the goat alone. No, no. Who wants a sweet one? Me. I'll give it to mama. That, I look at, I see it. Mm. Come hold and have a story. So this one has a lot of good ones. Hold. That was not hold. sweet. That was not sweet. That was sour. Mati. Ingra wakuro waka. We have a lot of pow pows. Maybe we should start selling them <laughs> in the market. Maybe. Yeah. Also, I want to try something yummy that I saw on I saw on TikTok. I saw a girl cutting a pow pow in half and filling it with Greek yogurt and putting like fruits and granola and honey. I'm gonna try to do that. Maybe I'll show you guys so that you can see. Yeah, there's a lot of bees. So this is our apiary. You can see all the bees. I think a new colony went into a hive. Which one did it enter? On the tree? We have some in the trees too. But it's on the other side. Oh. So we put this after harvesting. We lay this down like this so that the the bees can eat the remains. The remaining and wash them out. So the bees have done the cleaning. Now we're gonna have to clean them out because now they have ants. So you see the black the black stuff is called propolis supposed to be medicinal as well um, in, in Kenya they've not figured out good uses for propolis but it's supposed to be medicinal mm. so you can see you see there's ants now being attracted so then we have to go clean out these hives and then reset the supas because we replaced so you see there the main hive is the bottom part then the supas sit on top, so they're stacked. Mm -hmm. And then, so these are new supas that we replaced after we harvested these. Mm -hmm. So 
So now I've shown you the Supas. I need to finish up the sticker labels and I'll show you guys those for the honey and the coffee. And also we are going to harvest some pumpkin leaves today. We have a lot of pumpkin vines and leaves all around this compound. They're supposed to be very nutritious. Um, George actually cooked some up last week, I believe, and they were really nice. I really liked them. And I am like slightly anemic, meaning I need a lot of extra iron. Um, and greens are very good for that. And I was reading and researching a bit about pumpkin leaves and just reading all the benefits and they're just very, very nutritious. So we're gonna harvest some today. The kids are gonna help us and we're gonna cook them up, have them for lunch, probably have leftovers for dinner. Um, I'll have the kids try them as well. They don't particularly like greens all that much, like skumawiki. Um, they don't eat those as well, but I still want them to just taste and try. But I love them and George loves them, obviously, with some ugali. So let me go get some dishes. Kids, I'm gonna go get some containers so that you guys can help us pick the pumpkin leaves, okay? Come on, kids. Single file line. <laughs> you guys are walking in a single file line. What are the leaves look like? No. See all those? No. See that giant? Wait, pumpkins are growing? <laughs> See that giant pile of green mountain? It's a green mountain of pumpkin leaves. All just, of these look. They just took over the lemon plant. Yeah, they took over. They're climbing up. That's cool, huh? So these are like the leaves. And you get it from here, and you look at the freshest, good looking ones. You make sure there's nothing on it. You look for them like that, and you cut. Cut right there. You guys can all put them in the bucket, so just collect a bunch of them in your hands, and then you can go on this side. drop them off. Go forward. See where the pumpkin comes from? You see that flower? Mm -hmm. That's what becomes the pumpkin. If you see any pumpkin grow, get inside there, you look at it. Don't fall into the trash pit though. <laughs> That's where we uh, burn our garbage. That pit over there, I'll show you. <laughs> Start picking Liam. Don't worry about ants. If you see an ant, just shake it off the leaf. They're saying the vines are a little pokey. <laughs> Yeah, like that. There you go, Liam. You pull the top off. And then there's some more pumpkin leaves over here.
delicious. George is getting ready to head out in just a sec. So we're just going to eat. <laughs> Liam's going to be, wait, they're probably really hot. Liam's gonna be the first one to sample. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you like them or not? You can be honest. Mm -hmm. What's your honest opinion? Honest opinion? Not that good. <laughs> That's okay. The kids don't love me. Ah, thank you. Very much. You don't like it? That's okay. They don't have to they don't have to like everything, so I understand. Liam is the only one that likes it. Liam, do you like it? Yeah. Okay, okay. Liam likes one out of the three. They are Whoa, very I nutritious. Like we'll definitely have we have a huge pot, so we'll have a lot of leftovers. You're gonna want golly. Yeah. And tonight I'm making some um, mashed potato, so that'll go nicely with this. I'll probably make a little gravy to go on top for the kids too for the potatoes. Yeah. All right, I'm here in the packaging room. sanitizing um so i have these sticker labels that i already cut out i'm gonna put them onto our um 250 gram coffee bags i try to make it as straight as I can. It really bothers me if it's not like centered perfectly. There we go. So then it looks like that. So I have a few of these to do. Um, so I'll be out here for a bit. I'll probably put on some music while I'm doing all of these stickers because it is going to take me a minute. I also wanted to show you guys the label sticker labels for the honey so it comes like this in a big roll we have some smaller ones for the half kg bottles and then a little bit larger ones for the one kg um, so while i'm cutting these out i also wanted to let you guys know that we were able to reach our goal for the limbine primary school girls thank you guys so much it means the absolute world um we were able to reach our goal so next week we are going to the school to deliver the sanitary pads to the girls and we have our friend who is the educator and the trainer um, on the pads she's going to be coming down so we're really excited so we have that to look forward to next week and we will document and be sure to include you guys since you guys were so much a part of the process, such a big part. Um, so we're really excited and looking forward to going and spending a few hours over there next week. And we have a lot, we just have so many projects that we are excited to get to when it comes to our nonprofit. There are just so many things to be done, um, not only with the primary school, but also just our community. So once we finish at Limbine primary this next week with the girls, and by finish, I don't mean, I mean, the work is never finished, right? <laughs> but once we complete this first phase of um, the project, then we will update you guys on what we have coming up next. Um, 
But yeah, thank you guys so much and we're really excited. There's the sticker label. I think this white is gonna look really good. I love it. Yeah, I'm glad we went with the white because since the honey itself is such a dark color, um, we had some translucent ones made that we thought were going to look nice, but they didn't look nice because you could hardly even see like the logo because the honey itself is like a black color almost. So yay. Thank you guys for spending some of your day with us and... I'm gonna go finish up the sticker labels. It's probably gonna take me an hour or two to just cut them all out and get it all looking nice and on the shelf. And excited to get so many of you customers who have been waiting so patiently. We're so excited for you to get the honey and to taste it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you soon. I met you at the wrong time Then you caught me on that one night Girl, I wanna know How this thing get out of my controls Zip line into your timeline Hey, that body don't lie I didn't care for the hype, yeah But when I saw you tonight Ooh, girl You know just what you doing I'll go 